The other night, I was having one of my usual YouTube binges, watching videos of Ben Shapiro destroying feminists, when all of a sudden I was met with an incredibly alluring ad. Join the United Australia Party. Stand with me and Craig Kelly. Together we can stand up for Australia. I was talking about a party called the United Australia Party, which promised it would fix Australia. And I live in Australia, so that sounded pretty great. But when I went to their website, they didn't seem to have any actual policies. They were promising to stop lockdowns, end vaccine mandates, and legalise eating horse medication, but all those things have already been done. So I took it on myself to find out exactly who this party is and what do they stand for. Now it turned out I'd actually already received a few texts from the United Australia Party before. From what I could gather, they seemed really into three things. Freedom, vaccine mandates, and fixing the national debt. But I still needed more detail than just a three-word text message if I was actually going to go and vote for this party. So I tried calling UAP leader Craig Kelly to see if I could get any more detail. But for some reason, my calls kept going to voicemail. Please email your inquiry. Fortunately though, Craig Kelly's a big fan of free speech, so I thought I'd swing by his office and ask him these questions in person. G'day Craig, how you doing mate? How come your doors are all locked? I've been trying to call you to find out what your policies are, but you haven't been taking my calls for some weird reason. It's almost as if you don't want people bothering you on your phone. I was just hoping we could have a chat maybe? Wait, why are you closing your curtains? Are you silencing me? What about my free speech? Oh, alright, we're being silenced. Typical deep state tactics. I couldn't believe it. The party that said they were for freedom, 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 totally shut me down. I was devastated. Fortunately though, we still had a few policies left, and I was absolutely sure that a party funded by a mining magnate would be all about digging up more coal. It just so happened that there was a UAP members only event happening that very night. So I put on my best shirt and headed down to find out exactly what the silent majority were shouting about today. If I was young, I'd want to make sure that those freedoms that we did children, well, you guys get to enjoy as well. Because yeah. you want the world to be a safe place in the future. Well, that's right. Which is, which is why we need to sell more coal. Um, look, because obviously, like, to get rid of the trillion dollar debt. Well, look, to get rid of the debt, you've got to sell. Well, look, we, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Um, well, I mean, that's an interesting That's what I was saying up there, though, is like, because we've we got a trillion dollar debt. And that's what I'm worried about. Well, look, I, I think. So I think I should be. Why should be tax less? Well, if we're going to, if you're going to tax less, I mean, how's it? We've got to look at what we export, right? How that's going to get paid for. Yeah. So who's going to get taxed more? Well, so it turns out they didn't even stand for coal mining or lowering taxes. This wasn't looking good. At this point, the whole UAP was sounding like nothing more than a bunch of good-for-nothing tree-hugging hippies. But there was one policy left that surely they wouldn't let me down on, and that's being against vaccines. The stuff here for the UAP event? Absolutely. Thank you. Oh. oh, hey, now the party started. Who wants some shots, am I right? Hey. How are we all doing? Handshake, good to see you again. How are we doing? Hey there. You look beautiful, darling. Ah, oh, thank you. Can I get you a shot? Ah, there we go. Nothing misses anyone here. We love it. You love it? Oh, yeah. Careful. You, gotta remember what, you know, we can't love it. Clive will hear that. Hey, how are we doing? Do you like my outfit? You love my outfit? Let's get a hug. Yes, no, I've met Natalie before. I've... Oh. I couldn't believe it. They weren't even against vaccines. After all my effort to find out what the UAP stood for, all I got was a few shirts, a lousy hat, and a severe case of COVID. <coughs> I'd almost given up. But then, in my darkest hour, I received a message from above. And that's when I realized it was in front of me all along. The UAP doesn't stand for freedom, or lower taxes, or making Australia great. The UAP is for one thing, and one thing only being really f***ing annoying. So I needed to prove to Clive that I was worthy of being a UAP member. Uh, I'll be trading in Europe. Oh, I've got a message! 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 Oh, I